Hello, and welcome to What Is Blood Bowl 2. Now, a few people have been asking about what exactly the game is all about, so I thought I'd make this short preview video, and hopefully it shall enlighten you. First, I'm going to have a little read of what the developers say that the game is on Steam, and then I'll explain a little bit into more detail. So, they say about this game... Blood Bowl 2 smashes Warhammer and American football together in an explosive cocktail of turn-based strategy, humour and brutality, and it's adapted from Games Workshop's famous board game. Uh, multiplayer modes are bigger and richer than ever. In the persistent online mode, create and manage your own team of one of eight bases in the Warhammer world, and you'll see that there's humans, orcs, dwarfs, skavens, high elves, dark elves, chaos, and Bretonian, which are new to Blood Bowl. You will develop your team, gain XP, and unlock new skills. But beware, on the pitch, all losses are permanent. Organize entirely custom orders or championships, and from qualifications to finale, and use the new transfer market to buy and sell your players and build your Blood Bowl dream team. So, looking at the game, it can either be played single player or multiplayer. The single player is a bit weaker in this version of Blood Bowl than the first one. However, there is a campaign you can do and it is well worth doing if you're new to Blood Bowl because it basically takes you slowly through the rule set as you go so you learn how to tackle and pass and all that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, if you're new to it, definitely worth it doing that. Otherwise, the, where this game really lies is on its multiplayer aspect, but uh, I'll explain a little bit more about that later. Now, looking at the game itself, as I said, it's a mashup between War Warhammer Fantasy and American Football. Now, for those that don't know, American Football is comprised of two teams um, and one ball. And the aim of the game is to get the ball from your half across to your opponent's half at the back and score a touchdown. And obviously the same as goes for the other team. And the one with the most touchdowns by the end of the game are the winners. Obviously there are a lot more rules to American football than that. But there are the basics of what you actually need to do to win a game of Blood Bowl. And the other aspect of it is the Warhammer side of things. Now again, for those who don't know, Warhammer is a tabletop game that is played using miniature fantasy miniature models and again you usually have two sides and it is a turn based game so one person will do all their moves and then the opponent does all their moves and the main aim of the game is to completely annihilate each other how this relates to blood bowl is that it means you have to score that touchdown by any means necessary that means you play dirty you foul your opponent, you get them on the ground and stamp on their head, you bribe the ref, and if you haven't killed one of the opponent's players by the end of the match, then you really should be disappointed in yourself. Now, in my opinion, the game is based more on Warhammer than anything else, rather than sporting games. And the key point being for that is because it's a turn-based strategy game that relies solely on dice. Now, this is a very key element because... On the internet there's been quite a few reviews that are slagging the game off because they don't like the random number generator. They say that they it's, they struggle to score with tactics because they plan a thing and then it goes wrong because they're dice rolls. Um, I'd just like to say this is a dice based game. It is like, it's basically a board game that has been put onto a computer game. Everything you do is based on the roll of a dice. So if you foul someone you've got to roll the dice. If you pass the ball you've got to roll them dice. If you run further than you're supposed to you've got to roll the dice to see if you succeed it's just the way the game is played so you can't moan at a game for that when that's that is the aspect of the game anyway um rant over let's have a look at the game itself so as it zooms out you can see that there are two tame two teams on the field sorry and it looks like a gaming board where you can see the small squares that are made up on each side of the pitch and as you go over to the left, you can see each of your characters has got statistics which will affect their movement value and think about how far they can get across the field and that sort of thing. Depending on what team you decide that you want to play will affect how you play. So if you're playing, say, like a dwarf team or an orc team, you're more likely to play what they call the bashing game, which will be 
for smashing your opponent to the ground and then running, uh, trying to clear a nice path so that your runner can get through and score the touchdown. If you play, say, the Elves, you're more likely to play a throwing game and you'll get your players into position and try and pass the ball. And if you've got a team like these rats here in Skaven, you will be probably playing, trying to play more of a running game because they've got quite high agility. Um, they'll try and dodge past your players and they'll try and run with the ball, basically. So there are team, different teams depending on how you wish to play the game. In our Blood Bowl one week, we had players that tried to score as many goals as possible, which is obviously the point, but we also had people, namely Elfgar, who decided that what he wanted to do was kill as many players as he could. Every opportunity that came up, he decided to stamp on my bloody player's head, and he did a very good job at wiping out half my team, which mostly cost me a fortune trying to replace them again. And this brings me to my final point, that this game is not so much a sports game, so if you're into FIFA and games like that, then you're probably not going to like this so much. This is definitely more a turn-based strategy game, where you have to think about what you want to do and plan ahead, but also try and predict what your opponent wants to do. But on Blood Bowl, you can't take things too seriously. You are going to get random dice rolls that are just going to completely blow your plans out of the water so don't expect to have this perfect plan and execute it because it never happens okay so this is this is just a fun game and you will lose your players they will die and you just need to get over it and buy new ones because that is what blood bowl is all about Hopefully this video has shown you basically what the game's about and if you do get Blood Bowl come and join us on the Stout and Sturdy League at the Golden Tankard and I look forward to playing with you soon.